political agenda in Europe is driving down standards uh, of conditions of employment, health and safety conditions and broader employment conditions um, and of course th this particularly affects uh, a a older workers, it particularly uh, relates to a gendered workforce um, simply because the uh, kinds of protections that, that are required for this type of workforce are simply not being provided. Work intensity is increasing um, at the same time as autonomy is falling uh, for the vast majority of workers. There's a, a kind of inequality growing in European, the European labour market. Most austerity policies are targeted at the public sector. We have higher female employment in the public sector. So there's a dis disproportionate impact then on, on women workers in Europe. Gender issues and demographic changes and correlated questions regarding aging of workforce was a core issue for this uh, conference. And we try to put together scientists, researchers and trade unionists to discuss together on possible ways how to solve, how to help the workforce to survive this very strange and difficult times. When we broaden our discussion from talking narrowly about the notion of safety to talking more broadly about health and well-being, then we begin to see uh, a, a really significant development. Sectors like the retail uh, industry, which are deemed by many uh, people politically to be low risk, uh, are deemed so because of low injuries but nobody is telling you about the massive prevalence of stress, musculoskeletal disorders and so forth that we know exist in those kinds of industries. The European Union should be promoting the investment in working conditions. We need a European strategy on health and safety at work. That strategy has been delayed. We've had a lost decade in terms of health and safety at work. We now need to see policies being put in place to deal with the core risks that people face. We've uh, written a contribution and we do hope that um, this uh, new strategy will take place because it is very important if we want to have this smart, inclusive and sustainable growth that that it is accompanied by a series of action um, on health and safety and a series of action that look at work and how work can help us and good work can help us into fulfilling our economic objectives. The trade unions has a main task to protect workers, to try to help them to simply be at the workplace as uh, not a victims of the working processes but as a participants on working processes. It's an issue of well-being of the companies. I mean, there is no second workforce um, standing behind the actual workforce. So companies have to think about clearly um, what they are doing in, um, in, in, in generating a decent work at the workplace. Our call from the European Trade Union Confederation is, is really for a new path for Europe, um, a path which is about exiting the crisis in a sustainable way, sustainable investments, good job creation and reducing some of the inequalities in our society. Our economy will fall apart if we don't do it.